Oklahoma City developer John Belt passed away 10 years ago this month. The pioneer of the Paseo District grew the arts right here in OKC and redrew history with a fine arts school tucked in the neighborhood. KOCO's Kylie Walker has the story of the Harding Fine Arts Academy. Kenya Gidry Strum working ahead during a break between classes. She teaches math, psychology, and a capstone course at Harding Fine Arts Academy in Oklahoma City, a school providing the regular reading, writing, and arithmetic, but with a twist. To be able to join martial arts with no experience to that, or the arts program, or the photography program, the guitar program. The list goes on and on. Ninth through 12th grade students use art in any medium to learn. Gidry Strum appreciates this method. I grew up in a place where the arts weren't like particularly important, but to me they were everything. I was a music and a drama teacher and I was a band kid. Um, I, I, I would have that's not the right word I want to use. I, I would have done anything to go to a school like this. The superintendent, Taylor Stanton, gave us a tour, each hallway with interesting art displays. So we have Abraham Lincoln, uh, John Lennon, and Rosa Parks here. Names we all know inside of a school that opened its doors in 2005 and since made a name for itself. We're a national blue ribbon school. Um, we are in the top 100 uh, high schools in the country. We are in the top 10 high schools in Oklahoma. Its mission to provide an arts integrated education with an emphasis on every student. Almost 100 years ago, that was not the case. Known as private education without the price tag, Harding Junior Senior High School from 1924 to the mid-1960s was all white until it was integrated around 1967, then shut down in the mid-90s. I do know that there are still some alum who are still active that, that fought for integration, and it was important for them. Today, the school looks different. Nearly 400 students, 20% black, 26% Hispanic, and 37% white. Our demographics looks exactly like the demographics for the greater OKC area. This was was really, it was his initiative. Co-founder Joy Reed Belt says her late husband John Belt came up with the idea for Harding in 2002. He really wanted it to be accessible for for everybody. No matter the color of the student's skin, their economic status, or even their talent, Belt says her husband wanted to do the right thing. My question to you is, why did y'all give this place another shot? That's who he was. That's who he was. He never threw away the past. He built on the past. Growing with each student. Coming here, uh, it just, it, it definitely let me know that I wasn't the person I thought I was. <laughs> um, my first year, I hated it. Devontae Parker graduated in 2011. The now boys basketball coach and president of the Alumni Association credits his teachers and other students in helping him see the bigger picture students today can look at. Seeing that I'm trying to give back to the school, I think that's a big message. Everything comes down to, like, that student experience and that final walk across the stage. The school hopes to see growth in enrollment numbers and updates to the building that was given a blank canvas to redraw history. I'm really glad that Harding Fine Arts Academy exists to give students who might not experience that, that experience. Kylie Walker, KOCO 5 News.